how we can cut reward. QA alone does not create quality. QA mostly measures how much quality the system has already lost. And quality is created long before testing in how we write requirements, in architecture and design solution, in how we slice features, in how we define done for ourselves. To describe this idea, I like to show these two pictures. Neither road has potholes, right? The left one doesn't because it has many patches. Uh, and the right one doesn't because quality was built in during construction. And if every patch was made perfectly well and fast, does it make this road good? A road after many patches is technically fixed, but the base is uneven. Each new patch is more painful than the previous one. In our code is the same. If code wasn't designed with quality in mind, endless patches do not make the system solid. In some cases that even make it more fragile and random. After a few rounds of patching, we are not working with the system we originally designed. We are working with a new emergent system built by accidents and quick fixes. And we still have to maintain it. And if we want testing to help create quality, we have to do it earlier. We can test much more than code. We can test ideas, user scenarios, requirements, architecture sketches. We can test behavior on a whiteboard before the first line of code even written. If we do that, the code is already designed with these checks in mind. Early testing builds quality into the system. This approach is called shift left. It reduces the return rate. With fewer returns, queues are shorter. With shorter queues, tasks age less, and with less aging, we get better final code and more predictable releases. So what do we do with all this theory in real life? Many companies use words like definition of done, definition of ready, and quality gates. Definition of ready works as a filter for what enters the system. We don't start tasks that are still raw, which helps reduce both work in progress and rework. It protects the team focus and saves time. A task is not ready and we shouldn't start it. If requirements are vague, APIs are not implemented or documented, data is missing. It's better not to start testing if auto tests are red or flaky and the acceptance criteria are not clear or not agreed.